In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips in my salon Roblox. If you're new around here, I'm LCLC, smash the like, subscribe, and I'm going to show you how to get rich and serve loads of customers. Tip one. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is enter a code for free money. So click on codes and we're gonna redeem a code here. Now, if I get any more codes, I'll leave them down in the comments below after I've recorded this video. First code is K-R-Y-S-T-I-N. Press redeem and you get some free money. Nice. I like money. Tip two. The next thing you're going to want to do gives you 1.5 daily rewards is join the developers Roblox group. So click my salon and you want to join their group. Also smash a thumbs up on their game because after 1000 likes, you're going to get a new code, which I'll leave in the comments down below. So join the group. It's called Studio Squared and just press join and you'll get 1.5 daily rewards every time you log in. Easy money. I like money. Tip three. Okay, let's get into the real technical stuff now. We're gonna talk about vanity mirrors. Now, it's a bit confusing. There are various different vanity mirrors to purchase. Some are cheap, 75 bucks. Some are more expensive. Now, I am just going to be using the 75 bucks ones because at the moment, none of the other ones do anything. They increase in price. However, there's no multiplier as far as we can tell at this point. This may change in the future. If it does, I'll leave a comment down below. But all you wanna do is get the basic vanity. This will save your money so you can spend it on my next tip. Tip. Four. Okay, so this is where you're going to be wanting to spend all of your money. These chairs get slightly faster with each increase in price. You can see this one here, the fine salon chair is slightly faster. This is a medium fast and so on. This will serve customers much faster and get a new customer into your salon quicker. That way you'll be earning money faster and customers faster. This also applies to the wash units. You can see the multiplier here. So a basic one has a one times multiplier and it then goes up to a two times multiplier. It's twice as fast. The fine wash unit is three times as fast. That will serve customers super quick and it exponentially increases the rate of customers you can serve inside your salon. This one is a six times multiplier and this one is an eight times multiplier. The modern wash unit Finally, we've got the fancy wash unit with a 12 times multiplier, my bad, one more, and a 16 times multiplier on the deluxe one. There will be more to come in this space in the future. Here's a quick demonstration of the fancy chair, which serves customers in one second. That was so fast, I'm gonna show you one more time. Watch closely, one second and he served. Now, in comparison to the standard chair, I'm gonna remove these and just place down some basic stools and you're gonna see how slow it is. This guy's just come for his haircut, 13 seconds. We'll just wait here, twiddling our thumbs when we could be earning lots of money. I like money. And serving lots of customers. Instead, we're cutting hair. We're still cutting hair? Okay, finally, he's left. Tip five. Hold on, hold on. I know what you're thinking. This is a Robux tip. If you want to skip ahead to tip six, that's fine. But just hear me out for one second. If you've got any Robux at all, and if you're gonna spend any Robux in the game, let me tell you what to buy. I'll tell you what I've bought with my Robux, and it is uh, one of the best things in the game right now to spend your Robux on. It is the VIP Pass. I'll tell you why, 499 Robux, yeah, that's quite a lot, but it gives you 20% off all in-store items. You do get a VIP tag above your name. You do get 1K bits for free. However, that's not too important unless you wanna flex on someone. What is important, let me show you. These chairs, which you need to buy as you level up and as you get more and more money. This one costs 90K, but now I've got the VIP pass, it only gonna cost me 72K in-game bits. So as a big saving, I highly recommend if you're gonna spend Robux to get the VIP pass. Another thing I've purchased, which I'm not sure I can recommend at the moment, is the Royal theme. Now traditionally in these games, a theme would give you more XP or more money. However, we're not sure right now if in the future things change, I'll leave a comment down below, but I have purchased this theme. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because it looks pretty cool, but right now it's probably just a waste of Robux. However, I'm supporting the devs and hopefully gives me more money. I like money. Tip six. 
Brooks. The best way to get more money with in-game money is to purchase these statues. They give you a boost to VIP customers. Now this one is the most expensive, it's a million. It gives you a chance 5% more VIP customers to enter your salon and you can actually stack these, you can purchase two. The tip jars are more reasonable, they're 50K each. It gives you a 1% more chance for a VIP customer to enter your store and we're gonna get one of these. You can actually stack these to 10. I'm gonna show you a couple in my salon very shortly because I'm stacking them already but for First, we're just going to go check out the golden hair stand, which is 100k. This gives you 1.5% more chance for VIP customers, and you can stack these to six. So don't buy more than six if you're rich. It will just be a waste of money, and they won't give you more VIP customers. So stop at the limit. It tells you on the display of each stand how many you can buy. Finally, we've got the gem case, which reminds me of my restaurant, a majestic gem case that makes VIP customers 2.5% more likely to enter your salon. This this has a limit of four so you can stack these to four remember you can have 10 tip jars and four gem cases and a statue so see what you can afford and go buy some of those i'm gonna place these down inside my store and show you what they look like so i've got one vip tip jar already i'm gonna add one more and eventually i'm gonna want to get to 10 of these these look pretty cool they're not animated people don't drop money in them but hey, they look cool and they earn you more VIP customers, which pay out a lot of money. Now that I've placed that down, let's go check what a VIP, and here's one already, perfect timing. Uh, let's follow him and see how much he pays. He's having his hair washed, even though he's got his hat on still. What a noob. Okay, he's paid out 128, which looked like it was double what the other dude paid out. Pretty cool. You want to stack for VIP customers ASAP. Tip seven. This tip is all about managing your staff efficiently and not wasting your money like I have here. You can see I've got loads of staff hanging around, not doing much. Ideally, you want to have one stylist per chair for cutting and one shampooist per wash unit for washing hair. I've purchased way too many. I should have invested that money in the faster chairs at the beginning of the game rather than buying all these staff who are just running around doing nothing. So manage your staff well. You can get one or two extra just to answer the door, but don't get as many as me. It's ridiculous. Tip eight. Leveling up is very important in this game and I'm going to explain why and there are multiple ways to level up. So first of all, like in all these games, there are multiple floors. Now you can see I've not got any salon equipment on these floors. However, I've purchased more floors for a reason. You see these shadows walking around? That is my staff collecting hair. Now hair spawns on all the floors. As you can see, some hairs just spawned here. And watch this, Grace is gonna come along and sweep it up and it's gonna give me some XP. So we're gonna get how much? 25 XP for cleaning up hair. This is gonna increase our level and then our level unlocks more hairstyles. And what do more hairstyles mean? More hairstyles mean more money. I like money. Each time a customer comes in, they choose a haircut. Now, if you've got more expensive haircuts on the menu, hopefully they will choose those more often and you will make more money per customer walking into your salon. Also, the best way to level up is to do these tasks on the right of the screen. Now, coincidentally, this one is a clean up hair task. You can actually speed it up for robots, but we're not gonna do that. What you can do is run around your store, cleaning up the hair and complete that task. You'll get extra bits and you'll get extra level XP. Tip nine. Hold on, hold on. If you know about an AFA auto clicker already, don't skip because I'm gonna show you why and where to auto click. But if you don't know about an auto clicker, what you wanna do is get an auto clicker. Now I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I use. I'm gonna drag it across now and show you how it works. For those of you just want to see what I'm auto clicking on, it's pretty obvious. I'm gonna be auto clicking on the E here. So here is my auto clicker. If you're on PC, you can download this and I'm clicking the E to let customers in because there seems to be a delay between the staff going to the door and customers entering the door. So if you auto click the E overnight, not only will you get customers in faster, but you can keep your Roblox game on all day, all night, earning you money whilst you do nothing, whilst you sleep. So I will leave that link in the description to the auto clicker if you need it. This one that I use is recommended in the Roblox community and perfectly safe. However, if anything happens to your computer, don't blame me. Tip 10. Okay, so we're going to be talking about layouts. Now, layouts change drastically throughout the lifespan of a game such as this. However, right now, at this point in time, this is the layout I'm using. I have got my chairs on the left for cutters. Now, you can see I've got them close to the door. I've left a space in the middle just because I was watching the 
uh, staff and the customers and watching their flow. However, you can move them much closer to the door if you wanna speed things up a bit. That way a customer comes in and leaves really quickly. And on this side of my salon, I've got the wash units. I keep my wash units and my cutting chairs separate. That way the staff have less distance to walk. So only some staff can wash hair and only some staff can cut hair. So the less distance they have to travel, the better, the faster they can serve customers and the faster you can make more money. I like money. Layouts are due to change throughout the life of this game. So what I recommend you do is subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and as soon as I know any more, I will post a video and you will be the first to hear. Also drop a like on this video and comment down below if you want to be in a video like OP Destruction and Bliss. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon with another My Salon video. Goodbye.